The year was 1989 and Derby Festival staff wanted an opening ceremony to mark the start of Derby festivities. There was fireworks and balloons and it was a big success. But the organizers knew it could be something even bigger and even better. And one year later, Thunder was born. Tonight, the WHAS 11 vault takes us back to 1990, the first ever Thunder over Louisville and the most memorable moments in the decades that followed. Ladies and gentlemen, let the festival begin. That signature sign on from Mayor Jerry Abramson on April 17th, 1990, ahead of the first ever Thunder Over Louisville. This first ever opening ceremony event just might take over as one of the most popular Derby Festival events. And Melissa was right from the air show. That's it, one of the final Derby City Skydivers the fireworks ringing out above the old Cardinal Stadium as country singer Janie Fricky performed a free concert for the crowd. Catch the ball, festival your show, Kentucky Derby Festival. The first ever Thunder over Louisville was a massive success. So much so the team behind it knew they needed a new space for the next year. In 1991, the show moved to the riverfront. Now, just picture in your mind that in a few moments you're going to see fireworks literally exploding before your very eyes. The new location, a perfect match as massive crowds gathered along the shore of the Ohio River, looking up as the official clock counted down. <laughs> From a crew of 65 in 1990 to nearly 900 one year later, the operation has always been led by one man, Thunder's mastermind, Wayne Hedinger. Just a few years ago, we got a tour of his personal Thunder archive, his basement. There's memories on all these. As soon as I start seeing these notes, uh, it's pretty, pretty well. Oh yeah, I remember that. Memorable moments from Louisville's largest show have not been few or far between. From a UFO sighting in 1992. <laughs> We're frightened! That's Wayne so Hettinger, you must know okay. something. What's going on out there? Yeah, this, this was a surprise to us all. To a wedding four years later. I told you a little bit ago about the wedding that's to take place tonight on the Second Street Bridge. A makeshift chapel went up on the Second Street Bridge as a couple tied the knot. Another year, on that same bridge, something unexpected. Yeah, we, uh... We don't think this is supposed to be happening right here, but uh... <coughs> things haven't always gone as planned during Thunder's past. In 97, a frightening near fatal accident when a skydiver's feet got tangled in his parachute, his head falling toward the ground. Luckily, the skydiver managed to get his feet free, deploying the emergency chute, landing safely. The date, December the 7th, 1941. Controversy surrounded the 10th annual show when Tora 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 was booked to perform. The planes reenacted the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Some felt the performance would offend Japanese Americans, but the group stood by. They were honoring all involved. Three, two, one, zero. 2000 brought us a millennium thunder. More fireworks went off in the first 60 seconds than in the first five minutes of the 1999 show. But the show wasn't the only thrill delivered that day. Meet Thundasia. Her mother was walking to the waterfront to watch the show and went into labor, delivering Thundasia on a sidewalk at 8th and Market. When you do something for this long, the years sometimes run together, but one always stands out when you ask Wayne Hedinger. Boy, when 9-11 happened, that changed everything. I mean, across the boards uh, with our aircraft, with the, with the river craft. The show became more complicated to plan and execute, but it never lost its luster. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much of love drives a man insane. The air show has only grown since first starting in 1992. Hedinger has called it history on display, an idea for some daytime entertainment. Over the last decade, the show has only gotten bigger and better every year. But if there's one thing that always stays the same, it might be the one thing out of everyone's control. Mother Nature will let you know who's boss, that's for sure. But who's complaining when Mother Nature steals the show with a sunset like this one from 2017 ahead of another unforgettable thunder over Louisville?